Right lads, welcome to the Two Sicilies, where today we are going to be trying to form Italy and then creating the world's first fascist government type. I want to make it very clear, this is not like a, a oh I'm a big fan of fascists, uh, this is just the, hey this is in the game, it's kind of cool that nations switch out in the same way that I made the uh, uh, Russia into the Soviet Union. If you get the right um, combination of laws, uh, then you can switch into that government type. Like right now, for example, we're an absolute monarchy. And I want to switch this over to a junta or a military dictatorship, and that'll change our flag. And that will be the victory conditions for today. I don't know, I just feel like, I feel the need when it comes to like fascism and that sort of stuff to, to clarify that I'm not a fascist. Um, <laughs> it's just a video game. Uh, and we go from there. The reason I'm picking Italy is, well, realistically, in the same way that I picked Russia for the Soviet Union, it was either Germany or Italy. Germany has a couple of issues with that thing, and obviously Italy does as well, but uh, Italy makes more sense because it was the birthplace of fascism. So we are going to see if we can do that today. And hopefully that explains all of that. So as the two Sicilies, we actually start in a quite a good position. Over here we have the nation formation, the same thing as uh, the Germany side of things, and we need 12 controlled state regions. We need to basically control everything that isn't these Austrian territories and we can form Italy. We also need to have nationalism. Once we research that, we should be fine. However, what we can do is by becoming a unification candidate, we can launch a play to unify Italy, which basically means that we just fight Austria and if we win, we form Italy. Italy itself has a couple of uh, unique journal types. This is the same thing as like a focus tree for um, Poi4 or a mission tree for EU4 in terms of unique flavor. So over here, you can see that Italian minor nations within our customs union and with high mutual relations may unify with us. So we're going to try and do it the peaceful way as far as possible. And that means lots of these little states here. Another thing to mention for context is that uh, on a second monitor, time watching England versus Iran. So that tells you when I recorded this video. It's currently the 30th minute or 32nd minute, sorry. Um, and so you'll get two in one this video. You might think that I'm slightly distracted. Um, but I would say that you're getting Victoria 3 gameplay at the same time as my World Cup reactions. It's an innovative way of recording content. Two and one. Right, so we need to set up our tech. Uh, I kind of want to go nationalism early. Okay, let's check out our market. Oh, Jude Bellingham with a hell of a header. All right. <laughs> well, this video just got a lot better, boys. Okay, I do apologize if you don't care about the World Cup or football in any way. But that is incredible. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> oh, what a great start to a video. Okay. All right, let's start getting some uh, some construction going. Uh, and I think uh, what I need to do as well is maybe embargo Persia, but they've suffered enough. It's 1-0. And I want to start getting these guys in my customs union so I can get them for free, because otherwise I have to, you know, attack them. I don't really want to suffer the infamy or fight, have to fight Austria or France or whoever. So Sardinia Piedmont, I could probably get in. You lot, I can't. So you three, I can't. Tuscany, probably a pretty good one as well. Yeah, the Piedmont one, I could probably get. Papal State, maybe. Tuscany's going to be tricky. But to be fair, I kind of want to attack the Papal State. So we'll see how that shakes out. Right, looks to me like we have a decent amount of furniture. No paper. Decent amount of logs. What kind of resources are we running here? Uh, to be fair, coal, iron, sulfur, and logging camps. Really quite decent ones. So let's start building those up. We're making money. We're doing something wrong. So two more construction camps it is. Sectors, I suppose I should call them. Ah, that's why I'm making money. Iron frame buildings. Okay, this is going to make our... Okay, let's get rid of that one. This is going to really hurt our economy now. All right, so laws-wise, in order to get where we want to be, we need a presidential republic. And kind of generally want to do what the petty bourgeoisie wants us to do. The issue with that is that the petty bourgeoisie aren't too great for us. They don't want... I need to get away from a monarchy. That's, it. that's also kind of crucial. All right, so tools. I kind of want to make a tooling industry. I think that's a good idea. Before anything else, let's start relying heavily on tools. And getting a steel industry going is probably quite a good idea as well. Hmm, got insufficient taxation capacity in a few different places. Ah, it's because we have no paper. We'll be able to make paper. We can make paper mills, okay. Paper's always going to be useful for our government administration as well as, like, I want to go heavy in innovation. Because in this game, right... You don't really want the biggest army, you want the best army. Uh, 10 or, for example, 30 divisions. I showed this quite nicely in my India game, um, which will have come out before this one. I was holding off the Qing, who had like 1,500 troops with like 40, because my troops were just that much better. You want to enter into an alliance with us, and you'll give us an obligation. Okay, that sounds good, because then I can go ahead and... Oh, 
hopefully bring you into our customs union. And I can use my obligation. And you join. Wonderful. That should also bring things nicely to a head. How likely would you be to join? Kind of nice. Tuscany wouldn't. Lucker probably would. Okay. Look, just because we're trying to become fascist does not mean that we can't engage in a little bit of diplomacy now and again. Oh! Saka scored! It's 2 0! <laughs> Call it now, England, the win in the World Cup. Until they face Tunisia and then Tunisia will beat them. But still, I, I kind of got to say that I'm wearing this t shirt. <laughs> Oh, hang on, the Iranian players are complaining. This has turned into a watch-along, like, retrospectively. So you already know the result. Looks like it was a corner. Oh, he's hit that so sweetly. Wonderful. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Not the crossbar. England can actually score goals. This is new. All right, how are my tooling workshops actually doing? Are you making money? Absolutely not. Okay, let's stop building so many of them then. Uh, and let's get some iron mines. Um, people were very kind to tell me things like if I alt-click it, Goes to the top of the queue. That's a hard shot to finish. Damn. Ooh, the Apulia crop failure. Ah, oh, I can't allow famine to happen. Okay, yeah, this is going to damage us. I'm not using my decrees effectively. What is contributing to our GDP? It looks like a lot of... Uh, okay, well, we've got production over here. We sell artillery nice. Production, so these two are manufacturing. So let's get some manufacturing uh, decrees on you two. Uh, and then you look like you are liquor. Groceries. I'm still going to go manufacturing though. Resources and resources. Resources, resources, and manufacturing now because of the food stuffs. That should help us a little bit. Oh, it's three! Oh my god! We're winning the World Cup, boys! Oh, this would be horrible if you, you actually know the score and Iran ends up coming back and wins 4 3. But it's 3 0 in the first half. England is scoring from open play. This is the best day of my life. I'm going to shift construction over to wooden buildings because we can't really afford this. Maybe a consumption tax of some variety would help us here on liquor. There you go. So we're missing grain, wood, fabric, furniture. We're missing a lot of base resources. Ah, using too much infrastructure. Um, we probably shouldn't be building more things in you then. Okay, now we're making money. Wonderful. Campania has sufficient taxation, so let's start increasing that. Okay, we need to get empiricism, and then nationalism should be quite easy to get immediately after that, and we can work on expanding. Meanwhile, I haven't actually been doing any laws. What is it the petit bourgeoisie want? National supremacy, that's obviously going to be a huge part of it. Secret police, any central archives for that. So here's the thing. We need autocracy to become what I want us to become, right? That makes sense. But I think that we should go down this route, landed voting, in order to remove the landowners from power. Because I think that's going to be tricky. All right, we're going to get the petty bourgeoisie in. Dude, everyone's loyal. Maybe I just don't touch anything. <laughs> Maybe I just enjoy the game. Iron green for iron. The issue is Campania needs a port, or at least a better port. National Guard is good because it should help out the armed forces as well as the petty bourgeoisie. Let's do that. It also makes people less likely to revolt. Oh, what's going on here? Honka Crete and Adana. What the hell? That's rogue. That's real. That's real rogue. That's this province. Russia wants to. Okay, go for it, Russia. Enjoy. Petty bourgeoisie getting approval. Yes, please. As you can see, we're making. We're no longer making money. <laughs> we are. The thing is, our gold reserve size is so small that like any fluctuations means that I can go quickly into into debt and not. So I think I'm gonna go for my usual strategy of pausing it. The construction that is every time I need to. Now, what's your army like? More importantly, what's your diplomacy like? Okay, no one really likes you. Brilliant. Um, do I wait for the nationalism? Well, nationalism is about to happen, but we have National Guard. Brilliant. Okay, what else can we do? Professional army is already a thing. And now I think we have to sit and wait for different things to come into play. There's nationalism. That should unlock this. So if we have more than 14 of the following, then they'll join me. That seems a little bit stupid. Because that's like, I, I need 14 just to, just to do it. I only three, hang on, I only need three more. I'll face Tuscany, and Austria would side with us to form Italy. Okay, let's just do it. Or would we not? Right, we've got Giuseppe Garibaldi, which is important because he's very, very good and also incredibly popular. And this man, if we get the armed forces in charge, will lead our nation. I don't know why I said it so weirdly. I'm going to offer an obligation to the Austrians, and we're going to need Giuseppe. Okay, what other stuff do we have? Bandit, Hedonist, no. Uh, traditionist, no. What about our king? Is he any good? Oh my god, that's a fat man. Nah. Okay, well, Giuseppe it is. 
I need I need him to retire and then I need Giuseppe to be the dominant guy because we need to mobilize him and defend that front. The Ottomans would also join us. What for? An obligation? Honestly, I'll take it at this point. Ah, I've made a mistake. Obviously, I'm stuck in like EU4 mindset of, oh, you need um, lots of allies. That's not true. You just like, that's actually worse for you. Subjugate Medena. Ugh. Oh, war operations against the French. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to advance the front. Oh boy. This could go very poorly indeed. Oh, the Spanish have joined against me. Wow, okay. For whatever reason, the Papal State is dead. <laughs> they didn't actually defend their territory at all. How are we doing over here? Not good. So Demi Piedmont is defending over here quite nicely. Okay, we have the high attrition. Um, let's bring him back. Let's advance the front over here. The Papal State should submit now. And everyone should flock to this front. They are, including myself. Nothing's under construction. I think we have a shortage of some goods. Um, iron's a little bit more expensive than I'd like. So we're going to get some more iron. It's in Calabria. How's your infrastructure? Oh, great. I need to upgrade your port. All right. The Purple States is done, which means we completely unify Italy automatically. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. For whatever reason, it means that our troops left the front. Oh, wow. We're actually pushing in. It's actually really useful. We're going to lose Sardinia. It's kind of fine. I wasn't able to supply it anyway. Okay, and we've been pushed back now. Apparently you have a mild advantage. I don't see that. <laughs> Jesus. Looks like the Ottomans are fighting both Greece and Russia. Greece looking to form Byzantium, hopefully. Okay, it's because we've got a lot of construction centers. What 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 is this? It's a government wages. I think it's just the, the fighting. Hopefully we'll be able to peace out soon. Yeah, our troops kind of suck. We are losing a lot of money. Daraboldi is defending, though. Uh, I want to bring you home. All right, they're closing on a white piece, boys. Just keep keep scrapping. Do, uh, by scrapping, I mean defend. Don't let them push into our territory. It's not going to help our case. No, oh, Jesus. Oh, the Ottomans are going to be home, aren't they? Damn it. Once more, the Russians screw me over. Come on. Peace out. Okay, excellent. Whew. Okay, we're still losing a lot of money. What's that from? I'm assuming it's from the um, sheer quantity of these things we now have. So I'm going to get rid of a bunch of them. Specifically the ones over here. And let's try and figure out what we just did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just, that's it. It's Lizars, right? All right, so we formed Italy. <laughs> nice. All right, what's your input good shortage here? Steel. All right, we need to regress our economy a little bit. What the hell? Why are we losing so much money? Goods for military building. Military wages, that's like 23k. It's this government wages. Government administration. It's costing us a lot of money. Lots of low, oh, we have the low market access as well. So the sudden, didn't you not have a port? I can't even, I, what, what, I have to incorporate you manually? Why? I feel like it's a unification play, right? Why do I have to do it manually? All right. Uh, Budget-wise, let's drop everyone's wages. How many divisions do we have? 106. Yeah, we can't afford that many. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of pretty much all of our costings here. That should help. Okay. We also need to get rid of a couple of barracks. Because I can always build more later, but right now... I do not need this many. Still losing money. I'm going to hold out for now. There you go. Money's starting to flow a little bit better. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> and we just got to lock down for a little while. Get ourselves sorted. I mean, our GDP shot up. That's because we annexed everyone. <laughs> okay, now we've done that. I do you want to bring the armed forces into government? So what do the petty bourgeoisie want? Point to bureaucrats. National supremacy. We could do national supremacy. I'm just going to kickstart our steel industry. Who are your rivals? I need to get chummy with them. Ooh, defense pact with the Ottomans. But again, the Ottomans aren't that great. Prussia and Spain. Let's see, can we get away with this now? We should have enough people in our nation. Yeah, they're covering the costs. Wonderful. Oh, we're an emperor. That's nice. We're an absolute empire. Okay. I feel like Italy shouldn't really be an empire at this point, considering we don't have any territory. We just hold this. It's smaller than Prussia, and our rank is 15. I don't really like how it's tied to uh, the nation either. For example, when I formed England as India... Uh, I was a principality as the East India Company, despite having a GDP that doubled um, both the second and third GDPs um, in the world combined. Um, but England, when I formed that by just having these territories, I was suddenly the kingdom rank. So that doesn't really make much, much sense to me. All right, let's get the tooling workshops over to steel. Which is going to make steel very expensive, but that's okay. All right, we need to make sure that we're importing. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Oh, it's that whole thing where they measure people's skull to demonstrate racial differences. Ah, I don't feel comfortable with that. Jesus. Like, I know it happened, and that's like a historical fact, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm okay with that being in the game, Chief. God damn. Jesus. Right, all our states have been incorporated now, which is useful. 
Also, I'd like to point out that national supremacy is better than racial segregation. No, wait, no, it's it's not. That's, we're going up the tree towards an ethno state. Okay, yeah, I thought we were going down the tree. Man, there are so many like sound bites that I'm really uncomfortable with. Ooh, we got a national anthem. That's nice. Now we're gonna make a bunch of tools. Get national supremacy right now. Wow, nice it worked. There's a bunch more authority. Um, get appointed bureaucrats. Which will also get rid of some of the landowner strength, which is what I need to do. So it occurred to me that we don't have any sort of schooling system. Which means I'm going to need Catholic Church involved in these decisions. So I can actually have an educational establishment. Which is ridiculously important. I did not even realize how important this kind of stuff was. Probably missing dyes. Dyes are a tricky one. Savoy and Calabria. So Savoy. Where's Savoy? Savoy is over here. Can't do anything for you right now, Chief. Apart from not building you. In terms of your market access. Uh, Calabria is over here. Railways could be quite useful early. But it's going to... I'm just making noises now. Central Archives are unlocked secret police. We're gonna rush that. Remember, the, the aim of the game isn't to be the strongest nation, it's to form the fascists. I'm trying to become fascist Italy. Coal is expensive. Do we have any coal mines? We kind of do. Um, that'll do us nicely. Lots of insufficient taxation capacity. Campania, Tuscany, Lazio, Piedmont. Piedmont can have three. Emilia, Sicily, so Sicily can have one. Where's Emilia? Emilia can have one, uh, probably two. Lazio, Tuscany. Tuscany, where's Lazio? There you go. Campania, but I can't build in you because... Oh, Campania I can build in, yeah. You need a port. What the hell is this? Red tape. I need glass as well. God damn, why do economies have to be so complicated? I'm never going to get the trains to run on time at this rate. I had one good train on time joke before it got stale and I blew it like that. <laughs> Very upset with myself. Alright, let's get you a port and you need another port. Probably support some more construction sectors to be honest. Get one in Sicily. Um, develop the north of Italy a little bit more. Fact. Let's get rid of these government administrations. They don't need the bureaucracy. And instead, what I can do is go over here to development. Not development, but, uh, urban. And I go to standardized filing system. It should fix all of our problems in terms of taxation. Yeah. Brilliant. So to do this regimento thing, we need more than 14. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need three more. I'm not fighting Britain for you, Chief. I'm not doing it. Three more. Ah, uh, there are three over here. Hmm. We have the money. I'm tempted to switch it up. Giuseppe Garibaldi could potentially push everything himself with that plus 30 offense. Austria having 250, but we've got 40. It depends. If we can get the, the Prussians involved, we should be fine. What are you missing? Ammunition. Right, let's make some munitions plants. Because we're going to get raided badly. We can't create munitions plants. Uh oh. I'll make some chemical plants first. And let's actually clothe our people. And also feed them. And give them somewhere to sit. That should do us for the next little while. And we said that we can actually afford, because our people are wealthy, a couple more construction centers. Another news? The second half has started. <laughs> Alright, this isn't working. We have to switch something else for now. So no one approves or disapproves of secret police. Really? Petty bourgeoisie don't want it? I thought you'd have loved secret police. You want outlawed dissent. I need political agitation for that. And a dedicated police force. Technically a militarized one. Mass surveillance. Okay, so. Let's check the tech tree. Society. We need... What's it called? Political agitation. So we have nine years. We need to finish all this stuff first. Right, we need munition plants before we're going to go to war with anyone. Why are you upset? What is this? Why is that term one here? I don't get it. From what? Uh, nowhere else is in turmoil. Well, it's just you. We have a shortage of lead. We're right. I do also want to start building some universities. That'll help with our tech quite a bit, meaning that we can then get fascism faster. More importantly, Kieran Trippier is lining up to take a free kick. He's hit, he's hit the wall directly. I probably could have done better than that. Get me in the squad. <laughs> Enjoy the fact that there's definitely more than a few of you that just d don't care in any capacity about this. Uh, football game, that is. <laughs> No one's really producing too many, uh, too much ammunition. All right, if I check in here, your average offense defense is 35 and 45. It's ours. Plus, we've got to fix our uh, naval industry. But yeah, I think we have the same skirmish and mobile artillery, and you have line infantry. So ours should be better when it's fully uh, done up. All right. In the meantime, let's get some access to education. Get some religious schools going. 
Trade room with Austria. No. We're going to be fighting Austria. That is a hell of a graph. We're going to need a lot of shipyards. So let's bump the shipyards up to the top. We're really suffering for market access. Um, yeah, we need railways. And we've got religious schools. Wonderful. Pump that up to the max. Buy some weapons from the Americans. Well, not weapons, bullets. That should help with our barrack situation. And then we can see a true indication of our offense and defense as to whether we should fight the Austrians and Ottomans at the same time. And that presidential republic, I do want to do that. Um, we'll radicalize the landowners is the issue. I'm going to do it anyway. I want my munition plants. Um, triggering with France. I'll do that. Yeah. So the key part with these chemical plants, wherever they are, that's rural, urban, is that I need the LeBlanc process because I need uh, explosives. And there's railway. Okay. Right. We're going to need a few of these. It's going to cost us a lot of money, initially at least. Should be fine though. Once we've created the demand for them, we will then build these. Once we're industries for them. No. Oh. Yeah, okay. Apparently my uh, suppression abilities are not high enough. I don't want a trade agreement with you, Austria. I want to fight you. I've made this very clear. <gasps> it's Giuseppe. My entire plan revolved around Giuseppe. To be fair, an expert offensive plan is pretty good as well. So we'll, we'll put him in charge. Your ideology is Republican. You're the crown prince. You're also not great, so I'll get rid of you. It's all Luca. Railways are going to suffer initially because they're not going to have uh, engines. But we're building the industry for that, so we should be fine. Yeah, believe me, you're going to start making a lot of money during wartime. Right. Laws-wise, it, it, re it really pisses off the landowners. Just no one wants secret police for some reason. It's something I think I need. Oh! We scored! I didn't even see the goal! It's 4-0! That looks like an interception from England. Is that Sterling brings it down? That's it across to Saka. Who's inside of the box, danced a little bit. Oh, danced a little bit more, a little bit more, bang. That's a, the keeper really should have done a lot better than that. Jesus, let's have a look again. <laughs> yeah, the keeper, uh, to be fair, the keeper kind of sees it late. What's this war for? Conquer Crete. Dude, the Ottomans are just getting pieced up. Oh, the Russians have sided. And I have a lot of import shortages. Okay, wood, we need a lot more wood. Uh, everything's collapsing. Oh, no, we're fine. Uh, yeah, I think, I think everywhere just needs wood, right? Or they just need wood? Okay. Make sure I approve relations with France, uh, because my trade agreement with them is about to break. That is the most temperamental graph I've ever seen. Alright, so it's 4-0. Looks like we're taking off our players here to try and rest them. It's like three subs. Oh, the Iranians get one back! It's a hell of a shot. I think I've been a bit too slow to challenge... No, they're still, they're still online infantry. That's very expensive. So 35 and 45 for them. And for us, it is 45 and 50. It should be a lot cheaper for us. I'm tempted just to go for it. Still low market access. Because a core part of fascism is like uniting your region, right? Right? That sounds right. I think that this game would benefit a lot from like unique Cassus Belli. You know? Um, like unify this, unify that. All right, we're going to try and conquer somebody. Venetia. South Tyrol, Istria. Can I sway someone? I can sway the French. They're quite good. I can offer to pop at Algeria versus... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll sell out the Algerians. That's fine. Oh, the French are involved. We're running out of people. I have to relax some migration controls. Yeah, everyone's leaving. Why? Oh, they're, going to, they're migrating to the south. Okay, that makes sense. All right, here we go. Road to war. The Americans have joined against us as well. Glad to have the French on my side. Why did the Algerians get involved? Oh, they've got a defensive pact with Austria. Gotcha. Yeah, I found markets with the with them um, recently have been a bit weird. Like everyone just joins a market. Okay, the Hudson Bay Company is split off from the UK. Interesting. All right, I managed to pop out Algeria at least. But uh, as you can see, the wall's kind of a bit of a stalemate. Oh, the Ottomans are gone as well. I'm gonna nip in here and clean up because we need that. We need to start going negative, and for that, I need to actually fully control these territories. And I don't like that system at all. I think it's stupid, but. You know, you work within the game you're playing. Oh, England have scored again. <laughs> it's 5-1. Excellent. All right, we forced out the US as well. Uh, also, I'm building a ton of universities. So I'm building paper first to make sure I can supply them, and then a ton of universities. All right, so we can get that trade agreement going with the French once more. Ah, there we go. We've done it. They'd accept. Brilliant. Resorgimentio. I'm pretty sure I just tanked my economy by doing that, but oh well. All right, under the heroic leadership of Emperor Ferdinand de Bourbon du Sicily, the Italian nation has been birthed into the world, unified under a common banner. Italy will surely shape the future of Europe and the world. Right, 10 prestige. What? It said that they accepted. I don't get it. 
Oh god, our economy's collapsing. Why? Uh, wood shortages. Yeah, it's all wood. Okay. I should fix that. Damn, we are heavily reliant on wood. All right, let's incorporate these Italian states. Still doesn't make any sense. All right, now we can improve relations with the Austrians. I've sort of taken everything from them that I wanted. Well, I kind of want Dalmatia. Okay, well, they're hostile, so let's not do that. I don't want to declare them my rival in case they embargo me. I kind of need the Austrian wood for now. God damn, we make a lot of money. Let's to get more construction centers. Not necessarily going to need them here when they're fully incorporated, but I still think getting railways in these regions is probably a good idea, especially in that area, actually. Yeah, they've got four infrastructure. Our presidential republic is less divisive now, so I think it's time that we strike and make our move. Bring the industrialists in power, and then we go for it. No, 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 no. Just, okay, if it gets too high, then I'll stop. Sometimes it stops early. I'm going to enact agrarianism. 40, 48, yeah, it's going to go. Ugh, okay, I need to please you lot first then. So how much would it radicalize you by? To minus 14, yeah, I need, I need something that's gonna you're going to actively really enjoy. And I think police force is the way to go. Oh, you'd oppose it, so no. What do you want? What do you actually want? Who, who are you that you just... Ugh. I can give you this. Colonial affairs. I can do that. A colonial rotation, we can definitely do that. Right, let's do that. And you want outlawed descent. Bro, that's so ironic coming from you. All right, we get organized sports, which is the last one in this little category. And then we go straight over here, which gives us political... Uh, no, wait, political agitations down here. It's going to take ages. Ah, uh, well, we need it. Yo, what is this England team? I just knocked them, watched them knock the ball around like prime... Oh, my God. I was going to say prime Barcelona, but then uh, John Stones just lost up immediately. But is that, it might be Harry Maguire. It's Harry Maguire. Obviously, Harry Maguire loses the ball in midfield. My GDP is actually much bigger than Austria's now. It's, it's about to be bigger than the British Raj. God damn. I've accidentally created an incredibly stable nation whilst pursuing fascism. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. All right, we've got colonial exploitation. Should I actually go colonize? I don't see why I wouldn't. Uh, these are always good areas to declare interest in because we get access to their markets like rubber. All right, now that's done. We're able to force this through. The opposer are not going to be radicalized. Let's see. Oh, England scored again. I missed the goal. Oh, turns out recording at the same time. Let's have a look. So England knock it straight through to... Oh, my God. He's still on side. Is he on side? Yes, he is straight through. Oh my god, England scoring from open play. Oh, he's knocked it back into Grealish. How nice is that? Love it when the boys play. Oh, it's wonderful. He doesn't even go and hug him. Grealish may be the dumbest footballer I've ever seen. <laughs> Brilliant footballer on his day, but honestly, just, just not a smart man. All right. Oh, revolution. All right, let's freeze that again. I'm going to use all the spare money for more universities. Let's just build like five in each province. Because each one of these universities, what does it even give us? I don't even know. Uh, it gives us 10% qualifications and plus 2 innovation, which again will help us get to fascism much faster. In the meantime, we might as well establish a colony. Go on, uh, we'll colonize um, Gap. Why not? Oh, Tunis is now subjugated by the British. Oh, quick Moroccan GDP check. Oh, 5 point... What the hell did you do? Did you join a market or something? No, you just suddenly shot up in value. What's the Tunisian GDP? I'm seeing no coincidence that when the Tunisian GDP dropped, the Moroccan one went up. They stole our money. That's what's happened here. Yeah? No other explanation. Could build more universities. Why not? Uh, Italian Gabon is actually isolated. We need to build a port there. Ugh, France being wealthier than me. This is, this is sad. I mean, it's not like they're that much wealthier. There's like 50 pence in it. Official nationality. Okay. Do not want autocracy at all. North Italian people. That's good. That's good. Jesus, really, really tear through from innovation. Look, look at that. Yeah, it's just radicalizing the rural folk and the landowners. What about this? Same thing. Damn it. I might actually have to go agrarianism because they'd both like that. But I'm pretty sure that would just tank my economy. Okay, what if I just have the industrious in government? I take the legitimacy here. I suppress the landowners and I suppress the rural folk. More universities. Education, let's go. Doesn't have my GDP at all. Oh my, apparently it does. Now oh, the Iranians have a, a penalty. Last minutes of the game. Oh, we get in lines with the French. That sounds good. Give an obligation. And now, I think what we do is we just try and force this through. The Iranians are taking their penalty. And he scores. I enjoy the people cheering in the crowd that have no idea what's going on. And the Iranian fans are like, woo! It's like, you're losing 6-2. I don't know. It's just one of those moments that separates people who I think actually care about the team. And people who like... 
I'm just there for fun. That's absolutely fine to be there for fun. But I just find it really amusing. Because you don't really celebrate a goal when it's, you know, there's six minutes left and you're 6-2 down. You're like, oh, nice. And there it is. England have won their first uh, World Cup match. Excellent. And in honor of that, I am going to fight this revolution. All right, the revolution's upon us. The French are supporting us. Which is important considering uh, we have very little territory. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I should have made my troops super weak to start with. All right, my GDP is going to collapse for a little while. That's okay. Let's just crack on and win the war. All right, let's hope the French bail us out of this one. Oh, Jesus. How has he got 60 units in? I can never get more than like five in, usually. Right, well, there's that mess dealt with. Thank you very much, France. And our GDP... And our GDP is uh, yeah, not great, actually. I think we tanked 20 million there. Actually, yeah, I think it was about 20 mil. And there you have it, a presidential republic. And that changes our flag over to where we want it to be. We are now a military dictatorship. Excellent. Well, we have achieved our aim, ladies and gentlemen. That is, uh, that's what we want to see. The flag changes and thus we've become a fascist. General Fabio Piccolomini is in charge. I'm just going to put the armed forces in charge real quick. Does that change it to a hunter? I don't think so. But that works. Excellent. Like I said, I really do appreciate that Paradox puts this sort of stuff in the game. Um, where your like actual flag switches. I mean, for example, as the Soviet Union one, I went from like this flag to like Republican Russia, uh, you know, the modern day flag, to uh, the Soviet Union. And so being able to switch over to this flag is, is kind of cool as well. Uh, it makes me really want to start digging into the files or experimenting just to see what else I can do. For example, does the, uh, does the Prussian one change or the German one change? Does the French one? Can you go back to like Napoleonic um, era if you were for like an absolute monarchy? Uh, Britain, like a communist Britain, what would that look like? Uh, I, yeah, I really want to give that all a shot. So if there's a particular nation or ideology you want me to pursue, then please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, boys, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep this content coming. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.